This is Twit. All right, we are back from the break. And though I am sad to say that uh, she won't be joining us next week, I am excited to say that joining us today for our interview is Jennifer Patterson Tui of The Verge. Welcome, Jen. Hi, happy to be here. Sorry not to be here next week, but I'm making up for it today. <laughs> yes, indeed. And uh, I, I know that you have very important things to take care of. So we <laughs> completely understand. So I am pretty excited because oftentimes when something that feels a little bit... Um, I don't know, uh, wonky and fun is is debuted, announced, teased at CES or one of those other big trade shows. It means that it's not ever going to be a reality. But you are here to tell us that Samsung has a product it's actually bringing to market. What is it <laughs> and what, what do we need to know? Well, they say it's coming this summer and it is exciting. I'm excited because I love robots. <laughs> and this is Samsung's, okay, Samsung's Bally or Bali robot. I say Bally. <laughs> um, but, I, you know, and when they say it on stage, you know, there's lots of different accents. So I'm not sure we really know the pronunciation. But Bally ro robot, which was first demoed at CES in 2020. And it was one of the first sort of home robots we saw. So this was before Amazon's Astro. Um, but they're set, but Samsung, so they debuted it in 2020, nothing for ages, we didn't hear anything about it. And then at CES in 2024, it was back and had a new design with some wheels and more features and a projector. And now it was shown at 2025 CES and they said then it's coming this year and we all mm. said oh yes it is really <laughs> <laughs> oh yes it is <laughs> but now according to a post on the um Samsung newsroom they are going to ship this summer which is still not an actual ship date mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know it's it's a a window so <laughs> yeah, all the way through the end of august we might expect to see it um no pricing yet and i'm guessing not cheap is gonna be somewhere <laughs> around <laughs> around the price point um so and this is so it's a home robot and it can roll around it can answer questions it's kind of like a smart speaker on wheels to be okay, fair okay. but the big news today or this week is that they are actually adding gemini multimodal capabilities to it which supposedly will make it smarter and easier to interact with um, as well as samsung's own large language models um, it's interesting that they are doing this partnership with google here um, but it is, it's a fun little guy. I've always been excited about this idea of a little ball rolling around my house. Yeah. <laughs> um, it doesn't hit one key feature for me of, of robots though, as actually being obviously useful. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's not you know, also a vacuum, for example. It's not also a vacuum. No, it doesn't have arms. It can't carry things around for you. The way Samsung is positioning it is basically as a digital assistant that's physically in your home um, it can it has a projector has a speaker and a microphone and so if you ask it a question it, instead of having say a smart display with a screen it can just project on a nearby wall or on the floor and talk and show you what you you're up uh, what questions answers to your questions in this little demo video video that they put up yesterday it showed um a cartoon character lady asking saying i want a new hairstyle and it presented five or six different options of new hairstyles um it, it apparently some of its other capabilities and these are enhanced by the multimodal element of gemini mm. is being able to help you choose what to wear like it can judge your sartorial style and tell you whether you should perhaps Ooh, change your amazon outfit. tried that before yes, and it did not look. work out for <laughs> um, and then they they were also we saw it demoed at ces this year and they were showing that being able to um you could hold up two bottles of wine and it would choose it would say oh this bottle will go better with the fish dinner that you're preparing oh your little sommelier yeah there it is a little sommelier yes and um that was before they meant they launched gemini but they ha gave us very few details at ces so it's possible that that was the feature that they were preparing to bring to the robot um but it yeah it, it i just it's fun it's cute and that's what all these little robots have been like but they all have failed to date because they just don't have 
a very clear purpose or a real reason to have them in your home. Yeah. The biggest one here that from my perspective, and this is why I say it's like a smart display is it does connect to your smart home through smart things, which is Samsung smart, pla smart home platform. So you can tell it to, you know, open the shades or turn on the lights. And it's, it seems from some of their demos to have some sort of autonomy. So, I remember that it originally when they demoed it, they showed the dog knocking over a bowl of food while no one was in the home. And it sent, it saw that and it sent the Samsung robot vacuum to clean up the mess and then played some like soothing tunes to calm the dog down, you know, so it was sort of proactive. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we will you see. You know what? A little friend from my dogs while I'm <laughs> yeah. away is actually not a bad idea. And then it could play little, um, uh, like if you had a cat, it could use that projector to put a little yes. dot all over the house. Or yeah. you know I mean? I, and it could be interactive because the other thing they showed was that projecting buttons on the floor and, you know, you can select a button and press oh, buttons with, with your, your feet. foot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's kind of I mean, cool. Lots of cool ideas. Just again, what's the killer use case here? Right. I don't know that there is one, but. I it's also, cute. I. why do they all assume we have ranch style homes? I know. I have stairs everywhere. I'm not stairs sure how all it's going over the to place. Get anywhere yeah, I'm going to have useful. to carry my Bali, I guess. <laughs> like, and, if the, and that's the thing, too, is it's like they've taken. Um, they, they've they've taken a robot and given it the personality of a chihuahua in some ways because it's going to follow <laughs> you around. Well, I've got you know different uh, smart speakers in my home in places such that I can always just use my voice if I wanted to to make things happen. Is maybe part of the idea here that as you move throughout the home, if you don't have multiple smart speakers, then this will be right there to help you. Then I'm also worried, like, what is Samsung's um, uh, sort of uh, liability if you get tripped up over this thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? If it's like yeah. falling right behind you and you don't see it and then you trip over it. Uh, that's not yeah. something we've had to deal with up to this point. I guess if you tripped over your own smart uh, vacuum, that's not the company's. And I do that a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you've probably um, got 15 running around yeah. in there at any given time. So. <laughs> yeah, I think, and, and that is sort of the pitch is that it follows you around. And like the, the other thing it sh they showed in their video was a man getting ready for work and Bali reminding him that he's late and that, you know, he should get, get going. The traffic's getting worse. He needs to go sooner. So it's sort of, you know, a constant, I guess the idea is a constant companion. It's moving with you. It's always reminding you of what you need. Might get really annoying, um, but it also. I mean, I know what you what you're saying about already. Voice control is already useful without needing something that's following you around. And that was the issue I found with the Amazon Astro robot. Um, it was like it couldn't really do much more than a smart display could, and it 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 kind of took up a lot of space. But I think the proactive element when you're not home is interesting. And that was what Amazon was trying to push with Astro as it, like a home security robot, but mm -hmm. it being able to take care of things for you when you're not there because it can see everywhere around your house and it can go and check on things for you. Like you could maybe phone in and say, did I leave the back door open, Borley? Oh, and it yeah. can go check for you. Um, sort of like that's what Amazon's flying indoor drone camera was was all about too like it could it could keep an eye on things for you when you're not home and, and robot vacuums right now can already do this many of them have video cameras in right. them and voice assistants and they will even some of them have even have features where you can say go check on my pet and it will just roam around and look for your dog so you know there's already these some of these capabilities out there but robot vacuums can also vacuum your floor <laughs> so they have you know more use um, absolutely <laughs>